And Qala Yusufu li abihi. Yusuf alayhi salam, we all know the story, he talked to his dad. He talked to his father. And the language, it, it has many isharat in it. Idh, actually the word idh is used for a particular time. So when at a particular moment, Yusuf alayhi salam spoke to his father. Now, when a child speaks to you, is actually seems to indicate that it was on the child's schedule. When the father speaks to the child, then it's on the father's schedule. The father decided what time you should speak. The child decides in this case what time you should speak. Now, a father, which we're going to learn actually in the opposite case in Surah Luqman, the father speaks to the son. If qala Luqmanu, libni. It's the other way around. When the father speaks, as opposed to the child speaks, there's a difference. A father can pick, what's the best time to talk to my child? When, am, when is he going to listen to me well? When is, if, if I know that he's in the middle of something right now, or he's busy, or he's heading off to school, or he's upset right now, maybe it's not the best time to talk to him. Maybe you know, I should be smarter about when I should pick a time. But a child, does a child discriminate? Is this not a good time to bring something up? You have children, you know. Our kids bring things up to us, whether we're on the phone, whether we're at work in a meeting, whether you're cooking something, your, your, your daughter will tug at your clothes and say, Mama, 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 where's my toy? Where's my other shoe? Right? They, they don't say, well, maybe this is not a good time. Mom's holding two phones in her hands right now and, you know, and a baby and, you know, there's smoke coming out of the stove. But maybe this is not a good time to ask about my pink ribbon. But they, they don't discriminate. They just say it. They just, and then you say, oh, I'm going a little crazy right now. You know, because we do that. Because we say, why can't you, why don't you have the sense to know what is a good time to talk to me and what is not a good time to talk to me? The first point I'm trying to make is parents can discriminate when is a good time and when is not a good time. We're smart. We're adults. Children don't discriminate. Children, whenever a feeling comes in their heart, whenever a thought comes to them, they say it. They don't figure, I don't know, I think this is a, not a good time. They don't do that. There's only two things a child will end up doing. Either they'll speak to you whenever, or they'll stop speaking to you. They're not going to go in between and say, I should, pick a I should schedule my comments with my parents. They, they don't have that emotional intelligence. You can't expect unrealistic adult-like things from children. That's, a, that's an adult expectation from a child. So this ayah, when Yusuf salam spoke to his dad as a child, you know what that means? He spoke on his schedule. Like he didn't pick a good time to talk to his dad, he's just a kid. So he spoke whenever. And the father, did he just say, this is not a good time right now, come back later? I'm in the middle of something, I'm reading, I'm reading Torah right now, they didn't read Quran back then. Hadn't been revealed yet. I'm reading Torah right now, I'll talk to you later. Let me finish Salat. Let me finish my sunnah, then I'll talk to you. Oh, hold on, I'm cooking right now, I'm working right now. No, actually, he sat there and listened. He sat there and listened. What does this tell us? It tells us that in a society, especially in a society, where there are all these different elements and forces that are out taking people away from Islam, one of the things that we have to go out of our way to do is to be good listeners to our children whenever they need us. Which means as parents, you know, when I just think about if qala yusufu li abihi for myself as a parent, you know what I decide? I decide that when I go home, my cell phone is not going to be as available as it typically is. My calls will end in the car on the driveway. And the text messaging and the responses will all die down once I enter the house. Because my kids are going to be tugging at me and asking me and telling me things that matter or don't matter, that doesn't even matter. But the fact that they feel like whenever they tell, tell me something, I'm there to listen is important to them. I have six kids, one of them is going to come with me with an art project, the other one made a box, the other one, you know, just bent a straw and thought that was the most amazing thing they've ever done. Or They're going to come with random things. I'm not going to say, bring me something more impressive than that next time, or don't waste my time. No, I, I need to make them feel like I'm there to listen to them.